All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength of Powers. In this video, I want to talk about one of the fathers of powerlifting, Paul Anderson. Now, ever since I started making more videos about powerlifters, Paul Anderson is one of the most requested powerlifters that I do a video on. Um, and for good reason. This guy was definitely one of the forefathers of the early days of powerlifting. So during the peak of his career, it was in the 1950s during the Cold War. So it's worth mentioning the Cold War because at one point in time, he went over to the AAU weightlifting championships in the Soviet Union during the Cold War. It was the Americans versus the Russians in weightlifting, and Paul Anderson um, absolutely destroyed them. So one particular lift that was noteworthy during this particular competition um, of this Cold War uh, scenario was a two-handed press. Um, so Anderson lifted 402.41 pounds or 152.53 kilograms. So the previous record held by the Soviet champion Alexei Medvedev uh, was only 330.5 pounds or 149.9 kilograms. So Anderson lifted almost 70 pounds more than the previous record um, that was held. So like I said, he absolutely destroyed them in that competition. So Anderson was born in 1932, and he died in 1994 at the young age of 61 years old. Um, and the cause of death was nephritis, and it was related to his kidneys. And his cause of death was eventually kidney disease. So I've made a couple videos about famous powerlifters from the 1970s, like Larry Pacifico. You had guys like Bill Kazmaier, Louis Simmons, and some of those guys. But Paul Anderson was way before their time in the 1950s. And really, he wasn't technically a powerlifter at that time. He was more so a weightlifter. So a lot of his fame was derived from weightlifting um, and those Olympic competitions um, and also uh, his little feats of strength that he would do on the side. There's a lot of famous photos of Paul Anderson. And this is where many of you guys have probably seen um, pictures of him before with him with these massive wheels on his back. So it's like a giant barbell and these massive wheel weights on his back. And this was called the back lift. So essentially what this would be would be kind of like a good morning where you only do the upward movement of the exercise. So really he would start out you know, with his back bent and he would lift it up and then set it back down. It was kind of on like these uh, blocks. So it's kind of raised from the ground. Um, so it was like the opposite of a deficit. And those are pretty much the most famous photos of Paul Anderson or those uh, back lift photos. So his heaviest back lift ever um, was pretty insane. And I don't know, I don't know how accurate this uh, number could be, but his heaviest back lift ever was 6,270 pounds. Um, and this was done in 1957. And it's considered to be the greatest amount of weight ever lifted in human history. Um, so this is the equivalent of 2,840 kilograms. And this is also included in the Guinness Book of World Records. So I, I would say it's probably a pretty legitimate lift. Um, now, really, how high up was it raised from the ground? What was his range of motion like? How far did he really have to lift it? Obviously, this wasn't a powerlifting lift or done in a powerlifting meet. So we don't really know how legitimate of a lift it actually was. But the weight apparently was lifted. There was some kind of range of motion. There was some kind of lift. So that is a pretty impressive number. I, I mean, it's 6,000 pounds. So let's look at some of the Olympic weightlifting records that he had in 1950. So his best clean and press was 408.5 pounds or 185.5 kilograms. That was done in 1955 at the World Championships in Munich. His best snatch was 150.25 kilograms or 335 pounds. That was done in 1956. And his best clean and jerk was 440 pounds or 199.5 kilograms. And that was also done in 1956. Um, and his best total ever was a total of 1,175 pounds. That is the combined numbers of the uh, clean and press, the snatch, and the clean and jerk. And that is the equivalent of 533.5 kilograms. That was also done in 1956, and that was done at the Senior Nationals Competition in Philadelphia. So let's get to some of the powerlifting stuff, and that's going to be the stuff that most of you guys are more familiar with. So back then, you know, powerlifting meets weren't really what they were today. The rules weren't as strict, and some of these numbers it says are listed as in exhibitions or in training. Um, so not necessarily all of these are official powerlifting in a meet uh super deep lifts or super uh, strict form lifts, but they are listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as his powerlifting lifts. So his best squat was 1,200 pounds or 540 kilograms raw. 
His best bench press, 628 pounds or 285 kilograms, also raw. And his best deadlift was 820 pounds or 370 kilograms, also raw. So obviously the squat is off the charts, and that's probably what assisted him uh, with that crazy 6,000-pound back lift feat of strength that he did, um, was having that crazy leg drive and that crazy leg power. Um, and you can definitely see that in most of the pictures of him. His legs are just massive. Um, so let's look at his height and weight here. So this guy was five foot nine and a half, or 177 centimeters tall, and his weight was typically around 360 pounds at five foot nine and a half. That's the equivalent of 163 kilograms. So this guy was a massive human being. So the reason I call him one of the early fathers of powerlifting is really the fame that he was able to achieve doing these feats of strength really played a massive role in getting a lot of interest in being strong and powerful and eventually, you know, catalyzed um, the whole uh, powerlifting movement that would come in the late 60s, early 70s where powerlifting really started to take off and then into the 80s where you had you know world's strongest man competition and all that kind of stuff coming out of powerlifting and the interest in powerlifting really began to gain momentum after paul anderson so he was really one of the first guys that started doing these crazy feats of strength He was getting a whole bunch of attention for it and he was really one of the first guys to get attention for doing the squat the bench and the deadlift so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about paul anderson i hope you guys enjoyed this video Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.